It's okay, Cecil. It's okay. Just let him move. Just let him move. It get, it, don't look into its eyes, Cecil. Just let him move. Let him move. Let him move. Look, I'm going to open the box now. Open the box now. Cecil, I'm going to leave it over here. Over here. Over here. Over here. Over here. Over here. That's right. In the box now. In the box now. Come on. Come on. There I am. There I am. There I am. Come along. Up. Get in. Oh, Cecil. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Oh, Hello, everyone. Hi there. Um, that thing has been out again. He's been hanging around the Story Emporium repair shop for, for months now. He never usually comes that we can see him, does he, Cecil? Don't worry, he's in the box. He's, he's not going to move you now, OK? You won't see him again. I don't want to get rid of him because we never get rid of anything here. But Cecil, just because he moves, just because he makes a noise does not mean he is alive. There are many things that move and make noises that are not alive. You're alive. I'm alive. But he isn't. So we are not going to give him a name. Look, I'll show you. I'll show you. Hold on. I've got something. Oh. Something in the way. I've got something in here, and I'll show you what I mean about this. Let me just get this out of the way first. Which is... Ah, there. Look. Look at this. It's a beautiful thing. It's like creatures, which are beautiful, but it is not a creature. Look. It makes a noise. And look, it moves. But it is not alive, not like you. Cecil, we must always value and respect things that are alive. Sometimes we value things that are not alive more. Oh, there's a story about that. Shall we have a story? Cecil, ring the bell. Dennis, story coming up. Obstreperous, Femi, for my story coming up. Thank you, Cecil. OK. Now then. Everybody ready? 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 Vernon, ready? <laughs> Once upon a time. There was a farmer, and the farmer was walking along the land. He looked down the hill. He saw his meadows, his fields, his fruit trees. There were sheep. There were cows. It was a lovely farm and a good-looking farm. And the farmer strode to the farmhouse. He opened the brown door, walked into the brown room with the brown table and the brown fireplace. And the fireplace was cracking and spitting. but. There was a dog in front of the fire, and the dog was dreaming. The dog was kicking, and the farmer looked at the dog because the dog was old. The dog had asthma. The dog had only one tooth in his head. That dog did not work on the farm anymore. And if you work on the farm, you are valued. But if you do not work on the farm, you are useless. And the dog was now useless. And so the farmer reached up over the fireplace, took down the shotgun. He cracked it, loaded it, and said, Oi, dog, get up and go outside. The farmer was going to shoot the dog. Well, the dog got up, <laughs> and the dog went outside. Right, dog, said the farmer. Face the barn. Don't look round. The dog knew what was going to happen. The dog looked at the farmer, and the dog said, <laughs> Oh, farmer, please don't shoot me. Remember the time when you was a little boy.
and you fell into the river. I dived into the river. I swam and I rescued you. I saved your life. And the farmer remembered. The farmer remembered what the dog was useful and valuable and saved his life. So the farmer said, all right, dog, I'm going to give you 10 seconds to gear off my land. And if you don't, I'm going to shoot you. So the dog got up. <laughs> And he tried to get off the land and the farmer started to count. Right, one, two, three, oh, three and a half, three and three quarters, three and seven eighths. Well, by the time the farmer got to ten, the dog was off the farm. And he'd gone up to Top Road and the Top Road was near the Top Field. And the dog said to himself, well, <coughs> I'm useless. So what I think I'll do, I'll go to the big city and, well, I'll form a band and get on the Britain's Got Talent. That's what I'll do. And he started his long journey down the lonely road. But, you know, after a few hours, he saw a most bizarre sight. There was a chicken. And the chicken was walking around the lonely road. And the dog said, Hey, chicken, what's you doing on the lonely road? The chicken told his story. Well, I was walking around the farmer's kitchen. And the farmer's lady, she was on the telephone. And she said, Oh, hello, Marjorie. Oh, hello, yeah. Oh, come over, Marjorie. Yeah, I'll cook you a nice meal. Oh, I'll do you steak and kidney pie. Let me just go to the fridge. Hold on. Oh, dear. Oh, Marjorie, we haven't got any steak and kidney pie. What kind of pie should I do? Oh, I know, Marjorie. I'll do you a nice chicken. When I heard that, I ran to the window. I jumped out the window and I ran. And that's why I'm on the lonely road. And the dog said, listen, chicken, I'm useless. You're tasty. Why don't we get together and form a band and we can go on the Britain's Got Talent? And so the dog and the chicken started to go down the lonely road. Well, after a few hours, they saw a most bizarre sight. It was a donkey. And the donkey was going up to a tree and banging his head against the tree. my head on a tree. my head on a tree. And the dog said, hey, Donkey, what are you doing on the lonely road? And why is you banging your head against a tree? The donkey said, <laughs> it's such a sad story. <laughs> when I was a little donkey, I was beaten <laughs> and sent down the mines. <laughs> I had to work really hard every day. I wasn't given much food. I was beaten all the time. And then when I came up, I looked directly at the sun, and the sun burnt my eyes, and I'm blind. And the dog said, listen, donkey, I'm useless. The chicken's tasty. You're blind. Why don't we get together and form a band? We can be in the Britain's Got Talent. What do you say? And the donkey said, <laughs> That's a great idea. <laughs> and so the three animals continued their journey down the lonely road. Oh, Cecil, have you ever been on the lonely road? Well, I can tell you something. It's a road and it's lonely. But the lonely road leads to the forest of doom. Do you know what that is, Cecil? It's a forest.
of doom. Well, Cecil, as they neared the forest of doom, the weather got colder, black clouds went across the sun, and before they went into the forest, they saw a cat, and the cat was lying across the bar of a gate. The cat was licking. The cat looked up. Well, look here. Very strange sight. Dog, cat, a donkey running on lonely road. More, never seen more bizarre sight. What do you do? The dog said, listen, cat, we're going on a very special journey. But cat, how come you're here? Oh, let me tell you, dog, very sad story. I was cat, very good cat. I live with mom and dad. They stroke me, they give me nice food. I go, I come, I'm cat. But then they watch in television. I sit on the lap being stroked. But mommy of family, she say, Oh, darling, I'm going to have a baby. But I'm very, very scared. Because what if I have the baby and the baby's in the cart and see our cat? What if the cat scratches the baby? And the man, he looked at the wife. He say, Don't worry, darling. I'll get rid of the cat. So he take me by scruff of neck. He opened the bag, he put me in bag, he tie bag very tight. I in bag, I say, where we go? He no answer me. He go to bridge, he drop me from bridge into cold water. But I get out sharp claws, ching, ching. I scratch bag, Water comes in, I swim, I swim, I... <gasps> I reach top, me soaking wet, I come on bar of gate to dry in sun. The dog looked at the cat. The dog said, hey, listen, cat, I'm useless. The chicken's tasty. The donkey's blind. You're dangerous. Why don't we get together and form a brand? We can go on the Britain's gut talent and be a success in life. What do you say? Dog, I like you way you think and the rest of animal okay, I go. So the cat, the dog, the donkey and the chicken made their way into the forest of doom. Cecil, I'm going to stop the story there, okay? That's all right. We can have a little bit of a break and have a cup of tea and a biscuit if you want. But if you want to see the second part of this story, just stay on and we'll see you then. Cecil, say ta-ta for now. Ta-ta for now. <laughs>